Hi everybody, so when you've installed your DAISY 1.26 Sakal server or you've changed your server from um, Chandras or Livonia to Sakal, you might have noticed that the messages.xml file is missing, um, which generally lots of people use to run the restarts on the server. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it back. Um, this might just be an oversight on Bohemia Interactive and the devs part, or there could be another reason but I don't know yet. I've put a report in on the feedback tracker, so we'll see. This might not be a thing by the time you come to watch this video. So what you want to do, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to the official Bohemia Interactive DAISY Central Economy GitHub repository. And this has been updated to 1.26, and it includes the Sakal mission files, which is all the ones we want. So what I recommend you do is you click on the code button, you download the zip. Um, and that will then download to your downloads folder and then you want to copy that um, and I always have a here we go 126 vanilla including Sakal file where I keep a copy of the zip and then I have the masters and these then become a um, the basis for when I want to do some modding or something it means that I always have these so if I need to do some modding for example for Chernus or something I'll copy these out but I've always got these as a base vanilla and I've always got the um, zip file you know to, to fall back on again so what we can do is if we go into for example Sakal and we go into the DB folder we'd expect to see a messages file there wouldn't we so it's like oh where's it gone <laughs> so if we come out and then we go into for example Chernerus and we go into the D folder there it is so it's like okay so obviously we probably need this so one of the things you do is if you copy that one and then go into daisyoffline.sakal, go into the db folder and just paste that in. Okay, and then what we'll do, while we're here, what we'll do is we'll edit this. So we'll edit this with Notepad++. So as it is, the messages file doesn't do anything. All it does is just sits there because all of its actions are commented out. So what you want to do is you just want to copy the first one. So message that one, message to message deadline 600 so every 600 seconds which is is that 10 hours is it it's got i'm stupid on it 600 divided by 60 seconds yeah so every 10 hours god i'm crap at maths aren't i <laughs> every 10 hours the server will restart so what we do we just paste that outside of the remarks like that. i'm just using notepad plus and you just leave that leave it leave it like that and we could save that and that will then that will then work and it's nice and simple and some people get their knickers in a twist about the idea of having all these different messages but what you have to remember is these messages as they appear in the bottom left hand corner they're very small they're not very readable most people ignore them anyway and if you have too many things popping up all the time people just ignore them i think you just want a nice simple restart message so that people um when they when they see that red in the corner of the eye they know it's something important they'll look at it and they'll see okay the server shutting down in 10 minutes five minutes two minutes one minute that sort of thing so we've got in place we've saved it so what we need to do now is get this uploaded onto our server so go to your server go for server go to the web interface then we want to go to the file browser uh, into the missions folder so ps missions for playstation xb missions for xbox uh, just missions for uh, PC go into Sakal go into the DB folder and as you can see I've already done it but we could say upload file we could go to where we've got it so daisy 126 vanilla into there daisy offline Sakal to DB there's messages open that that will then open that then we can just click on it and we can just check that here we go Bup, bup, bup. as we can see so that's outside of the commented area so we know once we well we don't need to save any changes because it's on there once we restart the server that will come into effect and that will give your server a, a restart every 10 hours now you may be able to say well what's the point of doing it like that rob haven't you got automated tasks yes now what i do on my server under automated tasks is generally i get rid of all of them or I'll just leave one of them because the way that I understand that this works and I could be wrong is that this automated task thing is done by the server outside of what we have control on on console Nitrado um, so this is forcing a game server restart 
um, uh, you know, early in the morning for my one, UK time. So before any of the UK is up and about, or and I think Americans as well will probably be in bed. Um, and that forces a restart. And the idea of having both messages.xml and this game server restart is so that if the server crashes for some reason and the messages uh, file isn't doing its thing, then this may well work and then get it started again. I, in general, I found that Daisy servers are much more reliable than they used to be, and you don't have half the problems with them not restarting. In fact, if you're wondering how it works, generally, what a what happens with the server, the way that the way that the Daisy server.exe kind of works is that w when it's stopped, it automatically restarts, um, and so that's probably why you know they've got um, more um, more stable. So there we go. That's how you change and add back in the message.xml that appears to be missing from the Sakal files. Okay, so hopefully this has been useful. Remember the links are in the description below this video and of course I'll see you all again soon.